Hollywood Studios welcomes you to, for the first time in forever, a Frozen sing-along celebration. Join in a fun storytelling and sing-along, capturing the best of Frozen moments. For the safety of others during our presentation, we ask you to refrain from smoking, eating, drinking, and flash photography. We encourage photos and recording, but please do not obstruct the view of those around you with your smart devices. And please feel free to sing along at the top of your lungs. Thank you. cordially invite you to join us in the singing of any of our Arendelle anthems. Just follow along if you don't know the words. I think by now everybody knows the words, am I right? Okay, where should we start? Start the best part. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it by a hand and more. Let it go. No, 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 no. <laughs> we gotta work up to it. Where do you think we should start? Where every good story starts, from the beginning. Got it. It was a dark and stormy night. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Uh, okay, in this story, Goofy has a son named Max. Millennials are looking at the video screen. Oh, no. <laughs> What story am I supposed to tell? It was a beautiful day in the kingdom of Arendelle. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to save so much time. Okay. <laughs> there were two sisters who loved each other very much. Princess Anna and Princess Elsa. But Elsa was different. She was born with special powers. Magical powers that created snow and ice. Anna loved playing with Elsa's magical snow. Then one day she built a monster snowman. His name was Marshmallow. I don't know where we're at in this story at all. <laughs> Elsa hit Anna with her power. Freezing on his head. Right, and then the king and the queen took Anna to help the trolls, right? Okay, I'm back. If you've never met a troll, consider yourself lucky. They're these mischievous little creatures. They got weirdo magical powers. I never liked them because one time one of them rolled over my foot and kept going, didn't apologize. Like, I'm not so mad about it, but I feel like you should know. Maybe not. So that's it. Keep on going. And you're like, rude, and they're like, this is a good Focus! Grandpa became the trolls, fixed Anna's head, but we removed all memories of magic. Listen to me, Elsa. Your power will only grow. That's the guy. There is beauty in it. <laughs> but 
also great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy. They decided to keep Elsa's powers hidden from Anna, and then the saddest thing happened. No more snowmen. No more snowmen. Can we still sing about it? Yes, get ready to sing, everybody. Get ready to rock. Elsa? See you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Oh, wait, Anna. Okay, bye. It gets a little lonely, all these empty rooms, just watching the hours tick by. I'm scared. It's getting stronger. Being upset only makes it worse. Calm down. No, don't touch me. Please, I don't want to hurt you. See you in two weeks. Do you have to go? You'll be fine, Elsa. Y'all are gonna love old yeller. Okay. Uh, <laughs> said, this helps propel Elsa toward her destiny and it moves our story forward to the best day ever Coronation Day! Coronation's my favorite flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Several years had passed and it was finally time for Princess Elsa to take the crown. Elsa took the crown, just stole it. Okay, did you think through all of Arendelle History 101? Okay, that class was virtual and the screen was constantly frozen. <laughs> <laughs> She <laughs> was to become Queen of Arendelle. What about her icy power? Elsa was a private apartment for Joe, and she had to cast out her kingdom forever. Uh, this is my honor spent on a long time dreaming about the possibility of opening the castle gates for the first time in... Forever! What day is it? It's Coronation Day. <laughs> it's Coronation Day. <laughs> The window was open, so was that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Who knew we owned a thousand salad plates? For years I've roamed these empty halls. Why have a ballroom with no balls? Finally, they're opening up the gates. There'll be actual real life people. It'll be totally strange. Well, for long. She does meet someone tall, dark, and dreamy. Ew. Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Ew. He 
is my boo. <laughs> and even when I'm with my boo, <laughs> all I think about is you. <laughs> Don't you know I'm crazy over you? <laughs> Thank you. I love that more people sang along with that than they did the last oh, yeah. <laughs> That song's 20 years old, by the way. <laughs> I want to make you feel as old as I do. Uh, this guy I don't trust. He's one of those people that's too good looking. And you see those people on TikTok, and you know they're just awful people. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel. <laughs> you alright, Celine? Look, no. Look, Mom. No Hans. There. Now. <laughs> it's coronation today, right? So dignitaries from all over the world have come to this special day. Elsa was nervous, but she was able to hide her powers long enough to be sworn in as Queen of Arendelle. And then they party! I was, I was baby. <laughs> You're gonna want to ask your parents about that one. <laughs> Actually, it's the 90s. Ask your grandparents about that. <laughs> Not as awkward as it was for Anna and Elsa. They hardly saw each other anymore, but they were hoping all that was about to change. And for the better, because Hans came back and they danced the night away. Yay, Hans is here, said no one ever. <laughs> Come on, don't you love true love? Yeah, but this is not true love, are you? They just met. Okay, well, clearly you've never seen a season premiere of The Bachelor. <laughs> a wise woman once said, love is an open door. Yeah, this wise woman is a teenager. I would never show <laughs> Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I'm just thinking the same thing. Cause like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking when the chocolate fondue. But with you, but with you, I've found my place. That's what I was gonna say. I never met someone who would think so much like me. Jake's kids again. Our mental synchronization can't help but what explanation. You and I were just meant to be. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the pain of the past. We don't have to feel it anymore.
I'm not even going to address that. She knows as well as I do all this is about to change, and it had nothing to do with Lou. Anna pushed Elsa too far, causing her to accidentally throw ice all over the ballroom. They called her a witch. They called her a sorcerer. She impaled somebody at the party. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> <That didn't happen. laughs> What party was I at? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the village just has a restraining order on Regardless, they were scared. Yeah, but nobody was as scared as Elsa. Because no matter how much Anna pleaded Elsa, took off across the fjord, she froze everything in the process. She froze all of Arendelle, sending our beautiful kingdom into a dark, cold curse. So it was more than cold. It was frozen! <laughs> Here's the one you've been waiting for. Get ready to let it go. Make it weird! <laughs> A kingdom of isolation And it looks like I'm a queen The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I Okay. <laughs> okay, it's 
not necessary. Okay. <laughs> so Anna was wondering if you guys have seen LC yet. We don't want her to miss the Arendelle Festival. Oof, right to business, huh? Have we seen LC yet? Well, I'm sure we remember the Queen of Arendelle, right, Eric? Yeah, we know what she looks like. She's on the money. <laughs> okay, just do me a favor, keep an eye out for her, please. Right on, Mr. Reindeer King, we got you. What, what? <laughs> it's actually just Kristoff. <gasps> I'm just Eric. <laughs> Are we going to get to meet the reindeer? Oh no, I'm so sorry. He found himself some carrots and... You know, I couldn't help overhearing your story. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing this is like looking in a mirror for me. Do you see it? <laughs> hey, but how many... In a fun house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many times today do people stop you and they're like, Hey Eric, you're hilarious, you're awesome. And then you turn around and you're like, I'm pissed off. And they're like, Mwah. <laughs> Never mind. Do you want me to answer that question or is it rhetorical? <laughs> Don't answer. <laughs> you guys know it helps Anna a lot, but I think she would have made it to North Mountain. Oh, come on. You <laughs> helped her because you liked her. No, that had Wonder. nothing to do with it. That had everything to do with it. It was a blizzard. Lots of ice everywhere. I sell ice. Do you see the problem? I don't care. No, I had to help Anna to save my business. Okay, <laughs> keep telling yourself that, my brother. We know the truth, but I'll tell whatever story you want me to tell. You know what I mean? Bro code, am I right? Got the back. Am I going to <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to get back to Anna oh! and find Elsa. All right. Kristoff, everybody. There you go. That guy. <laughs> He's kind of dreamy, too. You <laughs> think everybody's dreamy? <laughs> anyway, uh, Princess Anna, along with the help of Sven and Kristoff, started to make the long, cold journey to the North Mountain. They navigated through the dark woods where wolves attacked their sled. Werewolves attacked their sled. Just wolves. Just wolves. <laughs> yeah. They lost Kristoff's newly lacquered sled in the process because it exploded, like sleds do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that part either, so they continued on. Then they came across a beautiful glen covered in icicles and snow. But then the real hero of our story enters the picture, an awesome, hilarious, talking snowman named... Oh, warm hugs and summer. The snowman who likes summer. Summer. <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but I always loved the idea of summer and sun and all things hot. Really? I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. But sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come. <sighs> me, so buzz. Kids will blow dandelion fuzz. And I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. In my hand, my snow up against the burning sand, probably getting gorgeously tanned in summer. Finally, see a summer breeze blow away a winter storm, and find out what happens to soft water when it gets warm. And I can't wait to see what my buddies all think of me. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. The cold are both so intense, put them together, it just makes sense. Winter's a good time to stand and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman. When life gets rough, I like to hold on to my dream of relaxing in the summer sun, just letting off steam. Where did she find out about Arendelle's fate? Then she sends Marshmallow after them. Anna 
and Kristoff almost died by jumping off a cliff, but luckily the snow softens their fall. We find out that Olaf has no skull or bones. I don't have a skull. Or bones. <laughs> Anna's hair starts to turn white, so Kristoff takes her to see the love experts. But it's too late, Anna's getting colder by the minute, and as Grandpappy said, only an act of true love can fall a frozen heart. Oh, they catch me every time. You will roll over your foot and not apologize. So they race back to Arendelle to find Hans so he can melt on his heart with a true love's kiss. See true love. But the whole time your boyfriend Hans is getting a group of guys together to go capture Elsa and not a cool move. No, Kristoff gets Anna to Hans, leads him to kiss Anna and save the day when... He laughs in her boots. Hans is the bad guy? I told you we couldn't trust him. He let Anna the cool car through the freezer that Paul Street left the kick from Thor himself. Hans is the bad guy. Probably put it on TikTok, too. Oh, Elsa escapes from her prison and tries to run away and cross the fjord again. But Hans is in hot pursuit while well, Olaf comes to Anna's rescue. Da -da -da, Olaf to the rescue. Olaf comes on and realizes that Kristoff and Hans is a one true love. Then back out of the frozen fjord, Anna runs. She runs. No. She shuffles. She shuffles. To Kristoff as she starts to freeze. Then she sees Hans. Sister. He's standing there in the blizzard, torn. Did she save herself or her sister? What to do? What to do? Eric, what to do? No, I went for popcorn. I didn't see it. You don't buy it there. You bring it from home with a grandma and a big bird. That's against the rules. He's not your one. I'll make it up. Olaf saves the day. Olaf kicks Hans out of the way. Kisses on us. Talking so mad is that because you like the thumb breaks and hearts. They all the time they have because some people, people are worth nothing, nothing more. more. <laughs> the end. Thank you. Okay. I think we're ready to get a new prize. I think we want something. Hey, Rohan! Hi! Hi, Kristoff. Hello again. Have you found your sister yet? Um, well, we're still kind of looking for her. You're kind of looking? Maybe we can focus on that because we ran out of story. What's going on here? It's getting cold here. That could only mean one thing. Oh, I hope so. Then we can really celebrate the Arizona. Oh, thank you! We're just happy to be 